Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, um, on my Instagram account, loads of people said, on your YouTube channel, please do a guinea pig DIY. Please do a guinea pig DIY. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, okay, fine. I'm doing one. Give me a chance. So I was, um, I was searching up gu gu guinea pig DIYs, but all of them you had to like buy stuff from the store. And so, um, and then my mum, she, she suggested, yeah, she, she suggested that, um, why don't you um, do this DIY? And then she just told me it. And I was like, yeah, because of course you're going to have food for of course you're going to have food for your guinea pigs, so um, you're obviously going to have that. So you might have some pairs of socks that you don't really like. I got these in like this craft set, like this monkey craft set. Nobody could figure out how the heck to do it. So I just like have these random socks. And of course you're going to need some hay, which I have, because everybody's going to have hay. And practically everybody has scissors, I mean like... How will you not have scissors in your house? Like, seriously? You can use any kind of scissors, really. It doesn't really matter. I've got these, um, kind of, like, thick fabric scissors, kind of. So, let's get straight into the video. Whee! So, the first thing you're going to want to do is take one of your socks. So, I don't really care which sock I'm going to use. So, I'm just going to use this sock. So, throw the other sock out. <laughs> for the second and then what you're going to want to do is cut the two piece off just like so so eh. I'm just these socks are actually quite easy to cut because they're like socks and socks are hard to cut <laughs> because they're socks <laughs> so um yeah these are really easy to cut actually so be back when I cut them. So now you have the sock two piece off. You can do whatever with it. You can actually turn it into a like guinea pig hat or like a cucumber hold holder. And it actually does look like a does bleh, look like a watermelon kind of. But you know whatever. Bye. So you have your sock right. So the other thing you're going to want to do is just cut the kind of like elasticy bit off from like here. So let's go do it. Let's go chopping. Yeah, let's go chopping it. Whee! Be back in a jiffy. So now that you have all of the bits cut off, you can maybe just like trim it down. By the way, guys, this is really hard to cut. So you can trim it down and make it into kind of like a weird kind of bracelet thing because it is elastic. And yeah. So that's what you can use that for. You could just use this for a guinea pig hat. I don't know what you can use it for. So I'm just going to throw these guys out of the way. So now that you have this kind of sock thingy, um, all you need to do is kind of just like, eh, you know, make it a bigger hole. And now what you're going to want to do is do the other one. So I've got this sock and I'm going to change it so I'll be back in a jiffy. Ah, so... I finished off this sock, so now I have two matching little guinea pig hats for my two guinea pigs. And then two little bracelets. Just so that I can put on like this. And so now that we have two, we can go and put them in the guinea pig DIY drawer. So this is actually going to be the first addition to the guinea pig DIY drawer. And we can also go ahead and add these two things as well. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and open up the guinea pig DIY drawer. And then we can go ahead and add 
the two sock feeders. I think we're going to call them sock feeders. Yeah, sock feeders. And then the two little guinea pig hats. In the game. And then we can just go ahead and close it up. And just like that. <laughs> and here's just a little cute little piggy wiggy of the guinea pigs. So adorable. Oh no, adorable. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and I'll see you next time. Which is of course gonna be tomorrow. So bye!